I'm off to Castle Donington today because I want to show you what I think is an absolutely fantastic little project. So basically a bunch of guys have got together and they've created the local support group for the, the VW scene. So it's a location you can rent space to, to store your car over winter somewhere safe if that's what you want to do. Um, but also it's a location you can rent and you can actually work on your car there. So you can restore your car, you can fix problems with it, whatever you want to do. Now if you're not sure how to actually fix your car, um, they'll show you. So they work as a team, so they help each other fix the cars um, and they'll actually show you how to fix your own car if that's what you want to do and learn. Um, and if you've not got the tools, so if you've not got many tools in your garage, it doesn't matter because they've also got all the tooling there. So the tooling is shared, it's got lathes and drill presses and all sorts there, which is, is available for anybody who use, is part of that team to, to use. So I think it's a, a, an amazing local VW community um, project definitely um, and I think if there was one of these in every single town it would be absolutely fantastic so hopefully someone will see this video and go we can do that let's go and check them out welcome to the book barn hi hey Patrick thanks for uh, seeing me today can you tell us what is the book barn all about yes <laughs> it's um, it's a concept we derived a few years ago um, we Personally, we were getting people, or I've always sort of worked with Volkswagen for the last 20 years. Uh, people were giving me horror stories of how much they're paying to work on vehicles and how much they're getting charged for uh, repairs. Um, I've always done it as a hobby, picked it up as a hobby. Um, I've learned sort of everything I probably have by picking up a set of spanners and doing it. Um, and a few years ago, we thought, well, we've got a friend of mine who's got a big unit that we're subletting, and there's loads of room there. So the concept evolved from we had a few vehicles in for work and we were working on them with people. Yeah. Um, it kind of grew and grew and grew. Um, I think with four years we were running down there. Uh, we had probably 150 vehicles in and out in wow. that period. Um, you know, people just came up to learn. People wanted parts, people wanted advice, people wanted spares. It was just as part-time hobbyists because it is purely a hobby. Yeah. You know, we're not a business. We do this because we're stupid. Or, you know. <laughs> We like to we like to play. Um, we are purely enthusiastic, you know, and that's that's all we are. Um, so with the last place, it got too expensive, so we we sadly had to close down. So we had to sell everything off. And this is quite a big big site, isn't it? You got uh, now. So this is yeah. Um, I mean, it took us three years to sort of get going again, um, and then uh, we well Nigel actually Nigel over there he found this place. Um, and we came up on. No, no, I think it was October evening, right. very wet, very cold, there was no back on the building, there was no door on the building, <laughs> um, and uh, we just kind of fell in love with it, thought, yeah, this would do, and between there and December from when we first opened, we built everything, we had loads of generation, uh, sorry, lots of generous donations of parts, spares, yeah. uh, benches, you know, we, we, we built the mezzanine floor, uh, all the stuff for the workshop, um, and, and yeah, so, how the concept works is um, we are purely hobbyists. We rent out space for people to come and work on the vehicles. Um, we rent space for just uh, storage, space storage as well. So um, we have enough vehicles here to cover our rent, to cover our electricity, to cover all our bills, etc. etc. Yeah. Uh, people can come up all day Sunday, uh, Saturday, so we're here all day Saturday. And we usually do two or three nights a week as well, so people can come work on their vehicles. And, uh, yeah, we've got a good selection. Most of the vehicles on this side are all uh, owners that uh, they come up on an evening, come up on Saturday. You know, we're all here to help each other. Um, you know, all the vehicles in different states of repair. You know, Brilliant. some it's engine work, some it's body work. And you all chip in and help each other with different bits and pieces. Yeah, so it, it is purely a place of learning as well. I mean, Chris's van's behind you. Um, he's a chef. Over there. Um, he he's never picked up a spanner in his life. Right. But over the last few weeks, it's kind of brave getting an old V double without touching spanner, yeah, isn't it? Over the last few weeks, he's stripped an engine. Well, he's stripped two engines because wow. we've got a second engine for his van. So one we've got parts in the workshop at the moment, um, and he's so we've got to let up. So he's learning as he goes along. Brilliant stuff. It, it is a learning experience as well. Right. And you do a lot for charities as well, so. Yeah. So today, for instance, um, this is our second open day. Uh, we did one last month for uh, the Treetops Hospice. Uh, we raised £152, I think, in total. Wow. Uh, for our first meet, it was it was quite but good. We £150 for, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, a lot of preparation, but 
you know, we're really pleased with that. And today we've done one for the air ambulance, which is from the airport, literally just behind us. Right. Um, we've been so busy today. I'm hoping we've probably doubled what we had before. Um, so, you know, it's all for good causes. And, you know. Yeah, and as I say, really, you're supporting the, the VW scene and you're also supporting you know, charities as well. It's a yeah. fantastic concept, really, work. Yeah. So do you guys will need the bug barn with Patrick as well? or it's Me and uh, Pat and Joe. Joe's left early. Right. I'm, I'm, the Bentley. I'm a new member, I am. Cool. It's been here since the start of June or something. Yeah, May. Yeah. It was May, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. you got your van here in yeah, pieces. Yeah, down on a low loader with a flat tyre. Right. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> So are you mechanical yourself or have you picked it all up from people? No, I'm, I'm sort of just doing as I'm told really, I'm just here to learn, I, right, I, so. I know nothing about engines. So again, bug barn is helping yeah, support everything yeah. you do and teach you what as you go yeah, along yeah, really. The, the good, thing, good thing about the bug barn and the ethos is that we all help each other. Yeah. You know, there's, Pat's got brilliant knowledge, you know, I've got some, <laughs> that's my van there. And Chris, like, you know, as he's said, he's a newbie to it. And we're all happy to help each other crack on. Yeah, there was three of us around there yesterday trying to get that engine dropped out. Yeah, we did, yeah. Awesome. And all the mess that ensued. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it did. You know, but that's part of learning, isn't it? And, it, and it's, if you've got a good environment for that, then Absolutely, that's, yeah. that's where you'll learn more. I mean, it's good because people, if you don't get shown, yeah. people don't do it. And then I saw it advertised online and it said, perfect place for people to come and work on their vehicles and learn. Yeah. and. You're surrounded by other enthusiasts. Yeah. So the cost of mechanics. I, I dropped a message and there was one space yeah. available, so I was like, yeah. there we go. And every every bit of free time that I get, I come down here and I try and crack yeah. on. I mean, with the help of Nigel and Pat yeah. and everyone else that's here. Yeah, I mean, the good thing as well is that we're not in it to make any money, so we're all open to helping each other in that way. And also, you know, as you've seen today, we're raising money for air ambulance. Yeah. And the, the previous meet before was for Treetops Hospice. So that's for a good course. Yeah, it's good, yeah. So we enjoy it, we're passionate about the same things. That keeps whether the you, hobby alive, doesn't it? Yeah, when you've got a, a car that's immaculate, or whether it's something that, you know, like that, my one needs a hell of a lot of work, we all get on and. We've all got Helps that build common community, don't yeah, we've got a common, you know, a common goal that we work towards, Brilliant. which is in you know enjoying it and keeping these knackered old vehicles on the road. <laughs> the first time the engine sparked so well. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's like your first Christmas almost. Yeah, you know, your when, smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're all laughing and chuckling in there when something goes right. Brilliant. Super. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you.